everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we are back with our WD-sponsored series of videos on their WD MyCloud line of network attached storage devices. And in the next two videos, we're going to be looking at some new features that just got pushed down to all of the MyClouds via a firmware update uh, that brings pretty much full Dropbox-like functionality to the device. So that means you can sync files up with your PC and Mac, both on-site and off-site, as well as access your MyCloud via a web browser or uh, give friends links to files that are sitting on your MyCloud without requiring them to have a login or anything else. A lot of the things that you can do on Dropbox, you can now do uh, with your MyCloud with a device you own that's in your home versus on a cloud service somewhere. So we're going to start first with the web-based features and in the next video we'll be looking at how the file syncing works with your PC or Mac. So let's get to it. Now before we start I want to make sure you are on the current firmware. So the best way to check is to go over to this firmware box on your web-based control panel's intro screen here, the home screen. Click on the arrow. It'll go out to the WD server and ensure that you are uh, up to date on your firmware and my drive is. Another thing you want to check is to make sure that you have cloud access enabled and you get to that via the settings icon here and look for cloud access. And this is on the single drive unit. This works with the single drive all the way up the line. Uh, and so your screens might look a little bit different depending on which one you have, but generally these two settings are in the same place on all the different MyCloud devices that are there. So the next thing you want to do is go to MyCloud.com and when you set up your WD MyCloud device, you should have set up an account with them. Uh, so click on sign in and you're going to log in with that account that you set up uh, with your device initially. I'm just going to do that right now and log in. And once you do that, uh, you will see your WD MyCloud remotely uh, from wherever you are. So you can see we've got my EX2100 selected here. I can also click on this icon and select my single drive MyCloud if I wish to do so also. So very easy to switch between uh, the MyCloud devices you might have on your networks. And again, these could be anywhere. So you could have you know, one drive at home, one at the office. And as long as both of these are tied into your uh, WD account, you can access them uh, from the same interface here right on your web browser. So that is a pretty handy thing to have. Uh, so what we're going to do here is go into our test folder and I've got a file in here already. Uh, this is a um, product manual from WD so I can click on that. It'll download uh, into my computer and I can read that product manual if I wish. I can also add files. I can click the upload button here to add files in there uh, but I could also just drag them into this folder also. So you see we've got a little thing down there telling us it's uploading and uh, what it's doing is it's going directly into my MyCloud device. So on other cloud services you're updating, uploading to their servers and everything. Uh, in this instance you're using WD as kind of an intermediary between uh, your drive and you, uh, but these files are going to get loaded up onto your drive. And as you can see, if I click over to uh, my folder here, that image file that I just dragged in uh, via the web is now uh, on my uh, network here on my MyCloud locally. So very easy to get files back and forth. You can grant access to these uh, web interfaces to multiple users. You can set up a folder that's just for them. And if you have people that are sending very large files back and forth, uh, this is really convenient because they can upload the file once, uh, you've got the full how many terabytes you have on your MyCloud and uh, the nice thing is is that once that file arrives after it's been uploaded you don't have to re-download it because it's already on your network. So it really does actually save some time when somebody can send over a four gigabyte file uh, that actually resides on a drive in your home versus having to go out to a cloud service first and then download it after they upload it. So there is some efficiency uh, that can be gained here. Uh, you can also share files back with people too. So for example if I wanted to share uh, that product manual with somebody that I know. I can just right click and go over to share here and uh, I've got a couple of options here and the best one that I think for most you know non-mission critical you know, super secure files uh, is to just uh, go over here and send a link and uh, what you can do is just click on get link here and what it's going to do is generate a one-time link uh, that's pretty unique. Actually, it should be unique. Uh, and we'll go over to new incognito window and just paste it in here. Now, I'm not logged into the MyCloud uh, in this web uh, screen here. So this is like a kind of simulating somebody just coming in right off the web uh, to grab that file. When I click on that link uh, that I supplied to that person, they can now get at that uh, that product manual again through their web browser. It's a very easy way to get a file over to somebody. They can't upload anything. All they can do is just read the file. And if you really you know, just want a quick way to share something with somebody that's on your MyCloud drive, uh, that's the best way to do it. Now, if you are concerned that people are going to have access to that file forever, you can go up here to the shared menu where it says shared with others. And I can delete that link now uh, just by clicking on the little X up here. Uh, that will stop sharing that link. And if that person tries to click on it again, let me get rid of the other one I had here just to be safe here. Uh, we'll get rid of both of these. And if that person tries to come back to that link later with that same address that we just had, 
uh, they're going to get an error that says, sorry, that file is no longer available to you. And there you go, the share is no longer found. So even though that file still exists on my drive, it is not accessible to that person uh, remotely. There's also ways to do uh, something a little bit more carefully. You can do a uh, file share where it's private to that person only, where they have to do a login first. Uh, that might you know, require a little bit more effort on the part of the person you're talking to. So a lot of times I like to just send that, uh, that link out and then uh, remove the link after the person gets the file that they are uh, using there. So that will do it for this overview of the new web features on the WD MyCloud 3.0 operating system. Very simple, especially if you just want to send out a link real quick for a file and have somebody download it. They can get at that file and nothing else uh, and be able to get on their way uh, without having to use a cloud service. It's great, especially for larger files that may not fit on uh, the cloud service that you might currently be using. It's also good too because you can very easily give somebody an account and allow them to upload files back to you. And at that point, you don't have to re-download the file from a cloud service because it's going to be in your home or office after the person you are getting that file from has finished uploading it. So very convenient way to get at files, especially from clients and other associates who are off-site. So very convenient. Just know that the speed of the connection is going to be uh, determined on the speed of the internet connection you have in your home or office. So if you have a slower connection, it might be slower than Dropbox or other services are, but uh, the files will get there eventually. But if you have a faster connection, I think a lot of people who are uploading to you may not even notice the difference. So really good stuff there. So that's going to do it for uh, this uh, portion of our sponsored video on the new WD MyCloud 3.0 features. Uh, tune in for my next video where we talk about syncing files from your PC or Mac uh, back to your MyCloud. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the generosity of my Patreon supporters. If you find the channel helpful, you too can contribute for as little as a dollar a month. Visit lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more.